Is the money deposited in bank is really safe? Collapse of Silicon Valley Bank is causing shockwaves across the entire... As of this morning, Silicon Valley Bank, or SVB, has gone under completely. The second biggest bank collapse in U.S. Bank history. Bank can only keep 10 to 20% of amount received and give remaining amount as loan. Let us say Allen puts $10,000 in the bank. Bank keeps 10% in deposit and can give 90% loan to its customers. After the money received from Bob, house company deposit $9,000 to bank. And this cycle continues. $10,000 has become $100,000 in the system. 10 times. The bank will be in crisis if everyone starts withdrawing at the same time. Same dominoes effect happened in 2008 during financial crisis. Stock prices were reduced by 20% and there was loss of 10 trillion US dollars during 2008. Let us see what happened with SVB is Bank. at the center of tech startups, venture capital. Startups could not raise funds, SVB could not generate cash flow, leading to customers started withdrawing money at the same time. Stock lost 80% of its value this week, 60% in one day alone, yesterday. The global financial market lost around 465 billion US dollars in just four days. Me, it's customers of Silicon Valley Bank lined up to make sure that they can get their money. The difference this time is that government has interfered to prevent this domino's effect. Others will be there when you need them. The American banking system is really safe and well capitalized. But I have to do something different here. We're actually rescuing depositors in banks that made some bad decisions over the course of the last year or so. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe.